In this session, we are going to learn about the Kamunda gateways. There are four types of gateways in Kamunda, okay, which we are going to see in the Kamunda website. So we have one inclusive gateway, parallel gateway, default gateway, and one exclusive gateway. There is one more gateway, event-based gateway, that we are going to look in the latest part of the chapter. Okay, so what are the gateways in Kamunda? For understanding this, I have created this a uh, dummy BPMN file. Okay, in this BPMN file, I try to cover all four gateways. Okay, so if we are going to look into it, this is the start event. Okay, in this start event, I have created a form, and in the form, I have used three fields. One is name, age, and salary. In the name field, the ID I have given is name type is string and label is enter name same is for salary the type is long and age and salary the type is long okay so this is our process if age is less than 30 it will go to this flow and start two separate execution through this through this gateway if the age is between 30 to 50 it is going to start this uh, execution if age is less than 50 age is greater than 50 then it is going to this gate uh, this path of the execution so this inclusive gateway what is uh, what it is kind of a if else if and else condition so only one of them one of these three execution is going to execute if it is going to take the decision on this gateway okay it's kind of if this else if this else this okay it is not going to execute to means more than one okay only one of them will be there so we can provide an else condition like this this else condition we can uh, see like a default condition you can provide it as a default okay this is the default sequence flow there is no condition i have attached here but in the first condition what i am going to fetch i am going to fetch the provided age field from this form okay here this condition this is execution dot get variable age okay if it is between 30 to 50 then it will go to this path of the execution otherwise it will go to this okay so this is if else if and else okay if the age is 30 age is, this is called inclusive gateway okay now if age is suppose age is less than 30 okay then it will go to this execution and it will go to this gateway this gateway we can call it we call it as parallel gateway what does it mean parallel gateway means if the execution arrive at this point it will create a fork of all the sequences okay it is not going to look look into the pro providers if, even if you will provide any means uh, any condition or anything it is going to ignore it simply ignore it okay it will just start a execution form here and from here as well okay after the execution of these two tasks okay the, these are tasks in Kamunda okay we will go, we'll going to look into this uh, in later part so it is going to execute this task and this task after the execution of these tasks it is going to halt the transaction here and if both the tasks are executed and for both of them it is going to join these uh, join these execution and then go for the further execution okay so this we call as parallel gateway parallel means there is no condition whatever execution you will start it is going to execute okay now third one is this one is inclusive gateway inclusive gateway it is kind it is different from the parallel gateway how it is different it is also going to create the uh, going to start the concurrent execution but the problem here is it is going to look into each condition in this gateway parallel gateway we don't have any condition right it will it is going to start the execution but in case of inclusive gateway if this condition will be satisfied it is going to start execution here if this condition is satisfied this is going to start an execution here so you are seeing the difference right it is also creating a fork and join condition here but 
it is checking the condition first so how it is starting the execution what commenter does if this condition is satisfied it is provide a token for this execution okay and then wait for the token wait for this token to execute here means this execution is completed here and if the condition is satisfied for this one it is going to uh, going to execute this task and then all the condition will combine here uh, means for whatever execution it has provided the token okay if uh, suppose uh, the condition is not satisfied for this one and only for this one then only it will wait for this token to uh, arrive here and then it is going to proceed for the further execution so you are seeing the difference of all these gateways right this is exclusive gateway this is parallel gateway this is inclusive gateway okay and this one is default sequence flow we have created if one of these condition is not going to match it will just directly go to this condition and stop our execution here this is our stop event